So in this video, what I want to do is go through an example of finding the y on x regression line given these summary statistics. So in the formula booklet, you have that the least squares regression line of y on x is y take away y bar equals b x take away x bar, where b is sxy over sxx. Now you'll have the formulae for sxy and sxx in the formula booklet as well, so make sure you use them. OK, so first things first, let's work out x bar and y bar. So x bar is 3, 4, 8 over 12. OK, so the sum of x divided by n, so 3, 4, 8 over 12, what does that simplify to? Oh, that's 29, OK. So y bar is the sum of y, so 1, 4, 4, 7 divided by 12. OK, that can't be simplified. OK, so that's my y bar. OK, so then I need to work out b. So I'm going to work out each bit independently. So S, X, Y, this is good practice so that you can spot any little errors along the way. So that is the sum of your X, Y. So 4, 2, 9, 2, 7. Take away the sum of X, 3, 4, 8, times by the sum of Y, 1, 4, 4, 7, divided by N. So 4, 2, 9, 2, 7, take away 3, 4, 8 times 1, 4, 4, 7, divided by 12. And that's going to be 964. Then we have SXX, which is going to be the sum of x squared. So 10928, take away the sum of x, all squared, divided by n. So 10928, take away 348 squared, divided by 12, and that's 836. So therefore, B is going to be 964 over 836, which simplifies to 241 over 209. So the least squares regression line will be y take away y bar is equal to b, 241 over 209, x take away x bar, which is the 29. Now if you want to get that into the form y equals a plus bx, then that's y is equal to um, so we're going to have 241 over 209 times by minus 29. And I want to add on 1447 over 12. OK, so that's 87.14. Uh, Let's go to two decimal places. Um, and then we've got 241 over 209. So plus 1.15. X. Okay, so where my values are given to uh, two decimal places here, yeah, that's all good. Okay, so that's how I can find uh, the regression line of Y on X in this case.